Hello, my Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. How you doing? What do you need? <laughs> Welcome to your What Do I Need read uh, for this full moon to new moon. Next, all in September. Lucky us, right? A two-week period, but it is the waning side of the moon, uh, which means, you know, it's a time of, of dissolution, dissolving, letting go, all of that. Uh, it's a natural part of the cycle. Capricorns, I know you're ruled by Saturn, so you know the idea of setting limitations and setting boundaries and all that stuff really important. <coughs> but this one feels a bit like uh, so blessing the decks. This really feels like this might be a little bit easier for you this time. Um, <coughs> don't know why. Uh, this full moon is my birthday moon. I was, I am a Virgo with a Pisces moon, so I was born on a full moon, uh, and and I just turned 51 on September 6th. So. You know, these are the last three reads that I'm doing for this before I do the next series, right? So I really appreciate you being here. Please like and subscribe. Help my channel grow bit by bit. We're growing slow and steady, but we're winning the race little by little by little, right? And I love doing these, and I don't think I'm going to stop any time in the next couple of years doing these reads. It's so much fun. And thank you all so much for the private messages. Those of you who have followed me on Facebook and Instagram and on Twitter, uh, you're all really helping out. So hugely appreciated so i'm very uh, happy and glad to do this uh, reading for you so let's dive in all the decks that i'm using are in the description box below i am available for private readings my info just go read the info box i'm a decent writer <laughs> it's all in there uh so let's dive in we're going to start with caroline mace archetype card for you to look at what is the dominant soul power what is the dominant archetype in your contract for these next few weeks this waning moon shall we take a deep breath my goats my collective pantheon of angels, gods, and masters, please. What is the dominant archetype, the soul power to be alchemized from lead to gold for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sign, this full moon to new moon next? Here we go. Ooh, the goddess. Now, keep in mind, regardless of your physical gender, we're talking about, really, talk about divine feminine. It's very divine feminine. So if you are, you know, an empath, if you are energetically sensitive regardless of what your physical body gender is, we're really looking at such a high, powerful, uh, feminine family archetype in the goddess herself. You know, who do we think of as goddesses? Like, uh, who always comes to my mind is Marilyn Monroe, right? Uh, they called her the goddess, well, posthumously, I believe, after death. So let's ask the angels to clarify, please. My angels, please. <sighs> Please, one card in clarity for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sign for this full moon to new moon next. What do they need? This feels good. Yeah, romance. Romance. Okay, so now we know. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, my work is so focused on the path of true love. Uh, path of true love is an archetypal lens through which to look at your life path, your healing path, your spiritual path through your relationships. And it's not all about romance, not all about sex, but it mm, feels like this one is. And if you're the goddess archetype with romance, the divine feminine, whoo, girl, even if you're <laughs> talking to that divine feminine inside of you, Look, I am predominantly divine feminine energy, right? It's But now it's about me loving my divine masculine from that divine feminine within myself. It's all about loving yourself, uh, but in a, a holographic quantum way, right? So uh, let's ask the gods. Now, the, the goddess that sits in the throne of Capricorn for me is Persephone, who is in her own way um, a threefold goddess, right? Just like you think of the three phases of the moon, Artemis, Diana, Hecate, or my three for that. Uh, but you have the Kore, K-O-R-E, which is Persephone as the spring maiden. Then you have her as the summer lady, lethal, the heat of the sun, as well as a really good time if you know how to play. Uh, and then for six months out of the year, she's queen of the underworld. So you have maiden lady queen instead of maiden mother crow. And I love her. I love Persephone. I mean, talk about somebody who took a situation and worked it to her benefit. <laughs> So, uh, my gods, my my Persephone, please. One card for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sign. This full moon to new moon next. What do they need in this waning phase? Top card. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay, so interesting. 
romance, but with the wise one, the hermit, she who rides alone. Now, that doesn't mean that you're lonely. Hermits go voluntarily. This isn't about walking away from the situation. This is about going within, uh, going to the top of the mountain, right? If you look at the traditional, the traditional, the rider weight hermit card, right? It's like standing at the top of a mountain, eyes closed, with a wand, which is will, right? Making that choice, that will, uh, but holding that lantern, right? Looking for the inner light, the inner truth, finding your truth, right? So yeah, you can say, oh, well, you're romancing yourself, which is part of loving yourself for sure, but let's keep going before we determine what this is. I watch a lot of readers who like determine the reading, every card they pull out. It's like, well, get them all on the table, right? It's like, get all your jigsaw puzzle pieces out before we put it together. But I'm just going intuitively here. This feels really good. And there's nothing healthier than taking that time. Look, I'm a Virgo, right? Everybody says, oh, the hermit, the Virgo card. I'm like, yeah, I'm wicked social, but it's true. I'm a hermit. <laughs> I don't like to leave the house, but I don't have to I love my home. So my masters, please clarify. For this Capricorn collector, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, this one, Moon, to Moon, next. What do they need? Because we've got the goddess, which is just so powerful yes in its light as well as in its shadow with romance and the hermit the wise one the kaliach by the way <laughs> daughters of the moon i love that deck <clears throat> so please my masters what do they need what does this capricorn sun moon rising sign need for this full moon to new moon next <laughs> intimacy now look intimacy 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 with romance and the goddess but with the hermit hmm. Hmm. Let's get a whisper of love. Love these cards. Highly recommend these cards. You know, I've been saying it for all the other videos. It's like uh, many of us who, who read professionally or even, you know, for fun, will pull a, a card a day from an oracle or a tarot or whatever. Uh, many people do that, even if they're not reading professionally at all, right? Uh, so many of us have our oracles that we turn to. What, do, what should I do today? What do I need is a very wise thing to ask in general, even in prayer and in meditation. What do I need? Because when you ask, you know, what's going to happen here? And, you know, when's that coming? Or how's that? What's my, you know, where am I on the path of true love? Those are the true love reads I do. Go watch yours, right? What's going on with my twin flame relationships? Those are those readings. This is what do I need? So clear. But it does take the grace of humility, right? To say, I know that I don't know what I need. I do that pretty much several times a day. But that's what allows me to kind of buzz along my path, right? Capricorn, yes, slow and steady wins the race, Caps. Uh, but, you know, you can really take that humility to say, you know what? Let me be innocent about this. Just show me what do I need? What do I need? What do I need to do? And then the, the reply that comes to me often is, well, what would love do? Right? Come from love is usually the answer. So Let's see here. My collective pantheon of angels, gods, and masters. This feels lovely. Uh, what, give us a whisper of love for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sun from this full moon to new moon next. What do they need? What do they need? Choose love. You need to choose love is what you got to do, right? Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. So what did I say? What would love do? What would love do? If you don't know what that is, go within. Not walk away forever and ever. I've actually had to say to people, I'm not walking away from you. I'm going into myself, right? Look, I'm a witch. If you don't know that already, I'm the professional, not the only professional witch. I'm a professional witch and a professional intuitive. People are like, what's a professional intuitive? Someone who makes a living based on their intuition, right? Talk about a trial and error, slow and steady wins the race, right? So I need that time to pull back, to rejuvenate, to refill my own cups, because it's very easy for us to pour it out. Earth signs, can't we? We can be very service oriented. But what might be very confusing is choose love with intimacy and romance, and then with the hermit, yeah, yeah, you need some time to step back and kind of figure out how do I choose love? Do I love them? Do I love me? Uh, is there a way to do this both? Of course there is. So let me read this now, Goddess Archetype. It's such a beautiful picture. It really, really is. Light and shadow. The light attribute, what you're shooting for here. The feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. Difference between sensuality and sexuality, right? So that divine 
feminine principle of wisdom from experience, right? The beauty of it all, the sensuality of it all. And um, absolutely, if you're going to retreat, go get, go put your feet in the sand while you still can. Well, where I am on Long Island, it's still really warm. I want to hit the beach a couple more times. Uh, but, you know, go, go walk children in nature with Tammy Brown. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, the shadow attribute, ready? As beautiful as the light is, is as toxic as the shadow is. Exploitation of the female nature and form. Now, I think you know what that means, right? Now, women have been exploited for, uh, is centuries long enough to say longer than centuries? So, you know, are, are you using your divine feminine energies in ways that are in shadow? People say, how do I know it's in the shadow? You don't want anybody to know about it. That's how you know it's in the shadow. It's not something you are proud about getting out into the light. So this is not a quickie read. I am going to use the other decks to clarify these, particularly this romance card. Let's get ourselves a little message from Persephone. My gods, please clarify this romance card for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sun. For this full moon to new moon next. What's going on here? What do they need? Well, the earthquake, five of pentacles, which, as yes, people say, is being left out in the cold and all that stuff. And maybe you are being left out in the cold right now. But the card of the earthquake means very, very fast physical change. So that could go in either direction, right? What do you like when you don't get what you want? Do you pull back and heal, or do you run away, or do you go vengeful, right? Because an earthquake lasts a very short amount of time, like 10 seconds is a big deal, but everything changes. So this may be a romance. <laughs> She's saying that. Rocked your world. And you're like, Ugh. I don't know, which does explain then the hermit card. Let's get, not the human cr hermit crab, the hermit card. I had hermit crabs when I was a kid. I actually think named one crabby. He's a my kid. He's a kid. Still am at heart. My masters, can you please clarify this really romance with earthquake? Did you feel the earth move under your feet? Was the sky tumbling down, a tumbling down? Is your heart start to tremble in whenever they're around? Thank you, Carol King. What's you, Carol King? Yeah, my life has been a tapestry too. Uh, everybody's is. Please, my master's one card to clarify for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sign, this full moon, moon, next, this earthquakey romance. What do they need? What do they need? <laughs> Orgasm. This card has come up more in these, uh, in these. Uh, what do I need reads more than any other time I've done a zodiacal series. So yeah, your shit got shook. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not saying that on YouTube. But the word started with an A. Let's leave it that way. So look, wow, 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 wow. An orgasmic romance that has shaken you. No wonder you're taking time out. No wonder you are stepping back into the meat <laughs> so let's clarify her shall we uh let's pull an angel for that one so what i'm doing is for the the three centrals is pulling whatever the top card is i'm pulling one from the other two it's a really neat way of doing this and i just did this with a client uh, the other day a two hour client we combined spiritual counseling and a reading at the same time. It was wonderful. It was a Virgo. We did so much fun. What a great guy. Came right to the house. I will make house calls if you're local, but otherwise, if you have Facebook Messenger, Skype, or a telephone, I can read you. I can read you, and I love doing it. Yeah, I'm $100 an hour, but I've been doing this since I'm 12 years old. I'm 51. I'm really good at it, apparently. So, uh... Yeah, reach out if you need me. I'm, I'm available. I can juggle schedules. And also what I mean by professional wish, professional intuitive, is this is what I do for a living. It's not like I have to go, you know, work at a bank to pay my bills. This is how I'm doing it. This is how I do it. All right, my angels, please clarify this hermit card for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sign, this full moon to new moon next. What do they need? What do they need to know? What do they need to do about this? Hermit card, uh -huh. of course, the card of intention. You need to clarify your intention, not just what do you want, why do you want it? The what and the why, the what and the why, again and again, the what and the why. Right? If you are a witch and you're going to cast or you know 
pray, really, regardless of what your spiritual path is, however you identify, get clear that for my dominant intention is, what do I want? I want to do what love would do. I want to be loving. I want to be open-hearted, but also a balanced mind, right? So too much heart, not enough mind, not great. Too much head, not enough heart. And we're seeing that in the world right now, aren't we? But that's changing up in balance. And that's a mirror of our own interior process too. So really doing the alchemy of that with that goddess archetype within you to balance the heart and balance the mind, but that is so much easier done in hermitage, right? To pull back. So, uh, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> Still clearing out this sinus thing, but maybe it's not a sinus thing. Maybe I've just got enough downloads that my cellular structure is shaking off third dimensional patterning left, right, and center. And I have to say my spiritual gifts, which are about giving away your spiritual gifts, have been sharpened and improved and getting better every day. So let's ask the masters here then, please. My masters, please. One card for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising. What do they need for this full moon to new moon next? This hermit card with intention. That makes a lot of sense. What do they need? Ah, because you're feeling the push and pull me, right? You're feeling like gas break. I want to, but I want to, but I want to, but I want to, but. And that does not surprise me with this earthquake card with an orgasm. Have you ever had an orgasm so strong that it challenged everything in your life? Yes, I have. And is this toxic? Is this codependent? Is this sex addiction? Or is this exactly what you've been wanting and asking for, praying for, casting for? You might want to go check your uh, quickie sex read caps. You're probably your sun, moon, rising Venus uh, and Mars too because this this feels very changing. Now, by the way, they're saying to me, this is a five of pentacles. This is minor arcana. So this is a, a thing that you're going through, but it's not like gigantic. It's not the tower card. You get the orgasm card with the tower card. Your shit's been blown up. You've just been shook. So just to clarify here, look, you've got the hermit, right? She who rides alone, clarifying her intention because right now she's feeling two ways about it. A push me, pull me. Darling, I've got to let myself know. Should I stay or should I go, right? <laughs> should I come or should I go? More like. More like. Let's clarify this card of intimacy because this is not just about physical intimacy. This is totally, see that sun shining above in there? Kind of like canoodling. They're totally canoodling under that tree. That's tree canoodling going on. Yeah. Legal in most states. Uh, <laughs> I hope. The states of consciousness at least. Uh, that feels really lovely and maybe that's the thing maybe it's the emotions here like i'm not seeing a lot of water in 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 this so let's clarify you want me to do a we got a message so let's call an angel there for that one and then we'll finish it off with the daughter of the moon tarot so my angels will you please clarify this card of intimacy for this capricorn collective sun moon rising sign what do they need this full moon to new moon next please a clue a tip, a hint, what do they mean? Top card, wait for it, right? Gee, Capricorn taking it too seriously? It's not like you do that all the time. Yes, you do, you know, right? It's like, oh, like a song is playing. Let me, let's, let's let this song play out. Let's dance a little, let's enjoy ourselves. Look, it is the nature of any Capricorn, right? Saturnian energy to really take things seriously, you know, long term, right? It's like Capricorn is very long term. You might very much want long term, but do understand that everything helps everything. Every experience that you have, you can't see the larger picture. None of us can in, in total. All of it is contributing to a greater thing and we're all going to get what we want in the end but not until we are ready so the quantum version that you're in right now as you're watching this is the best possible one to get you there that's so capricorn that's long term but this situation if you look at it and frame it only in is this going to be long term i get that might be what you want something solid something durable something that will last but this might be a necessary playful intimate thing to help lighten you up because you may be carrying a lot of stuff and your world has been shook. So let's get our last card down. My beloved Persephone, please, one card because you get this. You're married to Hades and you're separated for six months out of the year, but then you get to be his queen 
and roll by his side. So please, you get to have your fun, and yet you got to get the work done too, the diet of souls that you are, and then all them flowers. Ped fecundus. Flowers grow where'er she walks. Fertile feet. <laughs> Isn't that what you want as the, as the goddess archetype? That flowers grow where'er you walk, and when it's not that season that you're really connected to the depth and the riches of the underworld, which is the unconscious mind, which is the soul, right? The god mind. So, Persephone, please, last card down, please, with this card of intimacy and playfulness. What does this Capricorn sun, moon, rising sign need? To this full moon to new moon. Next, here we go. <laughs> Two cups. You know, this card so rarely comes up. I'm so shocked because I see it in every other YouTube video that I watch because I do watch them from in for inspiration. It's hard to read yourself. And it's lovely that they don't know who you are. So you go, oh, fuck. how is this bitch reading you for Phil? She don't even know me. He, she, which, well, person. So look, the whirlpool is how uh, Fiona Morgan characterizes this card that it's two things as far away as they can be, two cups as far away as they can be from each other, right? Slowly coming together, right? Slowly coming together, eventually, boink! Uh, eventually, don't boink! <laughs> it feels like you kind of already have or you're about to. So uh, look, so you've got this playful two of cups, right? With intimacy, keeping in mind the romance, but here you are the hermit, right? Not sure what to do, not sure what your intentions are. So in terms of a what do I need, you need to step back for sure. You need to pull back so that you can find your playfulness, so that you can rejuvenate, so that you can really give voice to the to the push me, which is saying, no, 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 and the pull me, which is saying, yes, 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 yes. Give them both voice. You don't have to choose right now, because as you clarify your intention of what do I really want, it can be, you know what? I, this doesn't have to be an either or. This can be a both and. This can be, yes, I want something long term, maybe with this person, maybe not. But it's not really fair to me and it's not really fair to them for me to be in this constant push-pull thing. So rather, oh wow, if you're a cross-watcher here, they just told me this is really going to help you understand what's going on with this Capricorn. Uh, that you can say, you know what, as long as I'm honest, as long as I'm honorable, as long as I'm cleaning up my stuff as it rises, what does that mean? It's like, it's okay. It's okay to want this and not want this. That's what a conflict is. That's what a push me, pull me is. But let me not do this to <coughs> the person this playful two of cups intimacy is with, because that's not going to work. That's not just going to slow things down. That's going to choke things off. And it's going to hurt you, Capricorn, more than it does them. It's just how it goes. If you're ghosting people, don't ghost people. Just say, look, I just need a little time. I care about you. I, I'm interested. I just don't know what to do right now because I'm being triggered left, right, and center. The orgasm brought everything to the surface for me. So if you, uh, this is the one they say, if you can just choose love, that you have a choice. You absolutely have a choice. You're not powerless here. If you're feeling powerless, that's because of something inside of you more about the past than what's going on here. So what I'm going to do for you is what I've done for every other sign. And look, uh, every time I bless, I get stronger at blessing. Every time I cast, every time I pray, right? That's spiritual practice. Slow and steady wins the race. It's like creating an ocean, drop by drop by drop by drop by drop. Eventually, you're the Atlantic and the Pacific. So may all the Capricorn sun, moon, rising signs be blessed with all that they need from this full moon to new moon next. May they be blessed with everything they need to grow, to heal, to become, to experience the shakeout of this romantic orgasm that they get clear on their intention as they pull back to deal with this push me, pull me within themselves so that this playful two of cups intimacy can enrich them and fulfill them as that goddess archetype within them gets stronger and stronger so that they can choose love not just for themselves not just for the relationship just not for the other but for the well-being of all love is the answer right now what you think our relationships aren't affecting the global situation of course they are it's all holographic so do the do the thing that scares you a little bit on this one right love anyway choose love anyway 
um, because even if it doesn't work out and get you what you want, you will walk away with some real divine feminine goddess work, gold going on, work. Girl, you know what that is? I think that's just, I have to. Stunning. Woo, that is stunning. And it is humid today here on Long Island. So I wish you the very best of this waning moon, this full moon to new moon next. Have a great time and, you know, <laughs> release some stress as it were. Um, please, again, like and subscribe. Uh, comment. I answer comments to the best of my ability. Um, and just I'm really looking forward to this full moon. And let's see what happens. Cool, cool. Reach out if you need me. Book me for a reading. It's easy to do. But for now, my darlings, my goaty goat, goat goats, hell. Farewell and blessed be.